Today I'm going to do a product review on a concealed weapons carry. Um, this is called the Comfort Tac Ultimate Belly Band Holster. I'm going to see how comfortable it is, see whether it's practical or not, and let you know what I think of it. Now my first impression after getting it out is it looks like a back belt with a holster attached to the front. This removable pouch for your magazine, uh, it sticks on there really good for now. It's Velcroed on, so I don't think it would fall off. You'd have to go out of your way to knock it off of there. The package is showing it looks like uh, a woman. It's tucked inside of her pants. I don't know how practical that's going to be as far as walking around. I do see where this would come in handy if you were wearing uh, gym shorts, uh, maybe uh, sweatpants, something like that, going on a walk, workout. Uh, getting to where you're going now size wise this says it fit um, almost any size weapon uh, says it fits uh, I think I saw somewhere it, said it fits a 1911 somewhere I saw a Glock 17 first thing I see is this holster the magazine there's no way this is a Glock 43 or a Glock 26 I'm sorry magazine there's no way you're gonna get a Glock 17 magazine there's no way you're gonna get a 15 round magazine in this this barely fits a Glock 26 magazine, and that's stretch tight. Now the Glock 26 is a 10 round magazine, and the Glock 17 I have is a 15 round magazine. Um, this is a uh, Glock 43 plus four, and as you can see, there's no way in the world you're gonna get that magazine in there, and that's about the size of a 15 round magazine. I'm going to spare you um, having to watch me try this on. As it says it fits up to a 44 inch belly um, measured at the belly button and fits up to a 54 inch belly with uh, an extension of some sort. It looks like you got to buy separately. I have a 41 inch belly. Um, nothing to be proud of. But either way, um, this does fit around my belly, but much bigger than that. It may be 44 inches around, but you're not going to fasten it and you're not going to be comfortable if you do. Let's see how it fits in there. Again, uh, Glock 43, so this is a subcompact um, weapon. Uh, again, this says this fits up to a, a 1911. I don't see it happening, but uh, it'll probably fit whether it's comfortable or not. I doubt it. Uh, this is a right hand carry. So, the Glock 43 does fit in there well. And again, I've already had the extra magazine in there. So as far as fitting, it fits quite well. It looks like it would actually carry good. The Velcro, again, it does uh, has really good Velcro on it, how long the Velcro will last. Okay, now to save me some embarrassment and um, getting kicked off of YouTube for showing my uh, belly to everybody. Uh, basically what I've done is I put this belt on. Um, right now my belly button's here. This is where they're showing on the picture uh, that the girl's wearing hers at. As far as me, this is way too high up on my side to draw comfortably. If I had to pull my shirt up, unbuckle, and draw this gun, I would probably be long dead before I ever got the gun out of the holster. So as far as everyday practicality for me, my in the waistband holster sits much lower. It sits down this far. So my gun is normally right here. I could draw it easy and not have a problem. This is made so you can spin it. So if you're more of a front wearer, you can wear it in the front. You can wear it in the back. This would be much easier to draw for me if I wore it in the front. Problem is, of course, is sitting or uh, climbing, walking. To me, the front position has never been a good position. Uh, some people carry it in the back, but I have a harder time too. If this is on my back, reaching around and trying to find that clip and get the gun out, I don't think it's going to be a practical everyday user for me. Now, the good part is that if you don't um, wear a belt, or if you're a lady and you're going in the park, if you had a pair of shorts on, a pair of sweatpants, this would work perfect for that because you could wear it down lower. You could still get to the gun. You could still have your shirt covering it up uh, or even your sweatpants pulled up around them. And you don't have to worry about the weight of the gun pulling your pants down to the ground. The belt is pretty tight. I don't know what would happen if you tried jogging with it. I guess it depends on the weight of your weapon. Uh, the subcompact Glock 43 is pretty light. I think the weight of the gun would just this belt is going to work its way down around your pants as you were running. So jogging, I don't think it's going to happen, but a walk in the park, walking the dog, something like that, 